Welcome to Rox Talks, the podcast that helps network marketers grow their business on social media. I'm Roxanne Wilson, and I'm so excited to be talking to you today about Clubhouse. You know, it's the big thing. Everyone's been talking about it. You've actually heard me talk about it for several weeks on the podcast, but today I want to talk about it for you and what, what can it do for you? Is it worth it? Should you be getting on it? We'll talk all the things Clubhouse in a moment. The countdown is here. The Social Media for Network Marketers Summit is on, is this month, it's coming soon. And my one question for you is, have you registered yet? You haven't? Why not? It's free, A. B, it is the place to be if you're a network marketer and you plan on on using social media or social media adjacent to grow your business this year. Listen, if you are on Facebook, if you're on Instagram, if you're looking at even Clubhouse, maybe you are interested in or you're using YouTube or LinkedIn or Pinterest, any of those things, or you're trying to figure out how to do reels and videos and oh my, all of that, then you need to join us for this summit. What I've done is I've brought together over 14 of the thought leaders and experts when it comes to all the different social media platforms and the nuances in them. So it's not just about Facebook. You're going to learn about Facebook groups and Facebook engagement. You're going to learn about how to use stories and hashtags and all and reels and all those things on Instagram. You're going to get all the goods you need to have a robust, robust business. And here's the thing. You're going to have an opportunity to say, yep, I want to work on this. Yep, I'm going to do this. Oh my gosh, I had no idea I could use this strategy. I finally get how to use social media to grow my network marketing business. Whether you're a beginner or you have been in the game for a long time, I know you're going to gain so much from this amazing summit. So join me. Uh, For more information, go to socialnetworkmarketersummit.com. Join me. I want to see you front row and center at this amazing and transformational summit. Hey there. All right. So Clubhouse is like the name of the game these days. If you've listened to the podcast, you know, I've been talking to you since last year about Clubhouse. I got on Clubhouse last year and just kind of was like, let me look around at this. Let me check it out a little bit. Let me see how this can be beneficial for myself and for network marketers. And I'm finally ready to like share and talk and all the things. So first and foremost, if you are an Android user, my apologies to you. Clubhouse is not available for you yet. I'm sure it will be one day, probably soon, but it is not yet. So if you're, if you are an Android user, go back and listen to a podcast episode you missed, or just, or if you like FOMO, listen, listen up. But if you are an Apple user, meaning if you have an iPhone or an iPad, then you can be on Clubhouse. What is Clubhouse? Well, Clubhouse is a social media, we'll call it platform where people have an opportunity to talk. It's all audio and talk about the big things. Now, here's what's interesting about Clubhouse. And I've heard all sorts of the Clubhouse started for this reason and that reason, all the things. Um, but what it's become, what it is right now in a big way is an opportunity for you to really talk about things you have an expertise about and bring other people on. One of my um, one of my friends and clients, Laura jo- Johannesson, said it best. Uh, she lives in Austin, Texas. And she said, you know, it reminds me of going to a panel breakout at South by Southwest. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what it is like a breakout session. So if you've ever been to a big conference and you go to a breakout session where there's like five or six people and you're there to learn from them, it's very similar to that, but it's an audio form, which means you don't have to get dressed up. You can do what you want, want to do um, and, and really benefit from it. Now, benefit from it. That's interesting, right? How can this help you? How can this help the network marketer? Well, it can help in a couple of different ways. But first, before I tell you that, I should say it's invite only. So even if you download the app, you cannot get in unless you have an invitation, um, which makes it seem kind of exclusive. But I will say they've they've increased the amount of invitations that everybody has um, before it was just one and you got it slowly. Now I'm noticing over the last month or in 2021, they're giving them out more um, frequently. However, if you're like, I need, an, I need one right now, Roxanne, and I don't have one, then fear not, I got you covered. If you, when you join the social media for network marketers, free Facebook group, there's literally a a post with the train, with the trail, and you can get on it and get your invitation and get on um, to Clubhouse ASAP. And I should also mention every Friday, I am hosting a Clubhouse show. Um, It's, or I should say a Clubhouse room. We call them rooms in Clubhouse. And it's called Social Selling. And it's an opportunity if you have questions about your social media and how it can help you. If you're working through something, doesn't matter who you are, you can come on um, to that show. It's 9.30 a.m. Pacific time every Friday. You can come to the room 
And um, I'm here to help you. And I'll have different guests and exciting things as well featured. So make sure you, when you join Clubhouse, find me, Roxanne Wilson, and you will get alerts when that, sh- as that room goes live. I keep calling it a show because that's, that's my world, but it's a room. Okay. So how can you use this for yourself? Well, A, as you just kind of heard, you can use it to learn, right? You're going to see there's a lot of um, top leaders in there. There's a lot of people who are entrepreneurs. So you can definitely take a listen to all the different things. And you'll find that there's different, they call them clubs. And a club is this, you can be a part of a club and you can see all the things that are going on inside of the club. I promise it's, it's, you know, the word club to me sounds a little bit exclusive and me being Roxanne, I never, I always wanted everyone to be part of the club so that, so I want you to know it's not as exclusive as it sounds when you get in there. Um, but what you, so I recommend if you like to listen to podcasts, which perhaps you do, cause you'll listen to this one. Um, or if you like to read books on, aud- on, on audio, listen to books on audio, Um, or just like you like to have noise on in the back room background, this is a great place for you to get some personal development, some great strategy, um, and have that rolling all the time. It also is nice, like I said, because no one can see you. So you can just be there and it's not like, Oh, what is she wearing? What is she doing? So that's one thing. Go in there and go to the different rooms and, and just learn and, and, and network. Now, one feature they don't have, which I would love, is when you're in a room listening, you can't comment or anything. You have to request to be like brought on, and then you're like a speaker. So it's a little different that way. I wish there was like a chat, um, but that might get a little bit out of hand, or maybe they're going to bring that soon. I'm not sure. Um, but the second way, and this might, in my opinion, is the most effective way to growing your business that you can do right now on Clubhouse uh, that I would recommend is this. What I recommend you do is now, listen, this, we've been talking for over a year now about branding yourself and finding your superpower. And hopefully you did the superpower challenge we did last month. So you have um, some clarity on this, but when you find your niche, I recommend making, having actual rooms, which is like shows about your niche. That might sound terrifying to you, right? I mean, it's a perfect place if you have an if you have a desire to podcast one day. It's a perfect, or if you are a podcaster, there's a lot of podcasters on there. It's a perfect place to be because you can basically podcast live in a way, kind of a tweak on them. But think about this. Let's say you're an expert. So let's say you're in Scout and Cellar, and you have become a sommelier. Did I say that right? Or you you know a lot about wine. You love wine. Perhaps you do a room on wine. And you could even invite different experts and have a discussion about wine. And you could do that. Maybe you don't have to do it every day. You don't have to do it every week. Perhaps once a month, you talk about like the wines of the season, or the wines of the month, great wines for Valentine's day or wine, wine trends, or how are wine, like you can do different things and have that conversation. Okay. And then when you put that out there, of course, you're going to let everyone on social media, you're doing it on clubhouse. You're also going, it, going to make sure that you are active on Clubhouse because then people start following you and then they see that you're having an event. Now, why do I say that? Because this is a great way for you to establish yourself as an expert. Knowing your brand is a good thing. Um, and it doesn't have to be directly. It doesn't have to be wine. Maybe you, maybe you sell supplements, but really health and wellness is your big thing. So maybe you do a room that's full on about health and wellness and you're rocking that and that's your big thing. And then you also, but it makes sense because as people get to know you, then they see, oh, she sells supplements. I totally want to see what she's about at the supplements. I believe her. I trust her. What she, what does she have going on there? So think about how you can do that. Now, please, please, pretty please with gumdrops on top. I've not seen this yet of network marketers on a clubhouse. So I'm hoping it does not happen. Please do not make a room about your specific company. Don't make a scout and seller room. Don't make a Rodan and Fields room. Don't make a color street room. Think beyond that, right? Think about the bigger picture. Here's what's really cool. Right now, Clubhouse is, what I'm seeing about Clubhouse is A, there's a lot of diversity on Clubhouse, which makes me very happy. I'm also seeing that on Clubhouse, you're going to find there are a lot of entrepreneurs or people who believe in the entrepreneur space, which means that there are people there that may be looking to start a business or to add another business to their portfolio, people who understand the concept of it. So in a way, you're in a place where you don't have to explain the benefits necessarily of having your own business. You might have to explain away some network marketing things, but in general, you don't have to get past the, oh my gosh, what if I take a chance? 
All right. So that's a nice place to be, but you will turn them off just like any other platform. If you make it about buy my product, join my team. So you want to think about the, the, the brand that you have and you possess. Perhaps you're someone who loves to recruit. So perhaps what you do is you have a room about leadership, about team building, about the things that you teach that go beyond the product. And then you can do a room about that and you bring people to it. What I recommend when you do host a room, A, is you want to make sure you first of all realize most people on the platform have been on the platform for less than 60 days, less than 30 days even now, because like I said, they're people. I saw a stat and the amount of people who joined, um, who joined Clubhouse in January was like wackadoo wackadoo, a lot of people. And so understand people are still figuring things out, which is great because it's a new frontier. That does not mean you're ahead or behind, you know this. But when you're on there, whenever you start a room, my recommendation, the rooms that I've done and I continue to do is make sure you introduce yourself. Just like we've talked about like your your introduction, just like introduction that I do when I do my Facebook lives. Do an introduction. First, let people know what they're what's going on there, what they're going to get. Then introduce yourself. If you have a guest, make sure you introduce them. Invite people to, because everybody's new, invite people. Hey, if you have a question, if you'd like to come on, we'd love to hear from you and and have that option there for them. Give them what you say you're going to give them and then open it up for questions. Okay. Now I do believe a call to action is a great thing to have. So you can definitely think through what your call to action is. I would state that call to action towards the beginning and the end. Make sure that you have a call to action in there. That's important. But make sure the call to action isn't like buy my product, join me a business. I would say something effective like I know we since we can't actually completely connect here, I'd love to connect with you on Facebook. I'd love to connect with you on Instagram, wherever it may be, and let them know where they can find you there. On Clubhouse, you can connect your Twitter and you can also connect your Instagram automatically when you set that up. So that's not you. So they can find you when they look at your profile as well too. But I'd invite them. Hey, I'd love to connect with you. Shoot me a note here or find me here and let's connect. Okay. And at the end, I'd say the same thing. Now, if you have something bigger than that, if you have a lead in lead gen or an opt in that goes along with what you've been talking about, and that's a great thing to offer, and just give them the link to that or tell them DM me and I'll send you the information to to get to get that if it's a hard one to remember. Okay. That's what I recommend. And make sure at the end you do that as well too. Like any social media platform, you're not trying to get married during a clubhouse room, right? You're simply just having that conversation and setting yourself up as an expert and having having the, that community. But remember, you also want to make sure you're going to other places and, and presenting yourself there and, and learning there. And listen, you might say, okay, I listened to a room. I really enjoyed it, but I'm not ready to raise my hand and talk on a room, someone else's room, that's fine. I would just make sure you connect after you were in their room. Go ahead and click on their Instagram and send, me, send them a DM and say, hey, I really enjoyed it. Thank you. And connect with them there because you the connections don't just to have, have to happen on Clubhouse. And I actually don't think that they should just happen on Clubhouse. When you have a connection with someone or you're like interested, or you're like, oh, that, that person was great in a different room, follow them on Clubhouse and then click on that message so you can get them on Instagram and have that connection and connect with them on Instagram. See what I'm doing there? So you're using that platform to then get to know them on other platforms. But what happens then when you connect on Instagram, they're bound to look at your profile. When they look at your profile, what happens? Well, then they see more about you and it just cultivates that relationship. You want to be connected with people on all the platforms you are on. Okay. Now you might be saying, wait a moment, Roxanne, I don't know if I can do another thing. Then don't. (laughs) <laughs> don't remember I said, you're not ahead. You're not behind. You're where you need to be. So if you're like, okay, I, I can't do another thing. Then I would say, don't worry about clubhouse. But if this is something that you were like, Oh, I could be interested in that. You could definitely get on there and at a minimum, listen in different, different rooms. This does not mean you have to go to the next step and have a room, right? But what I do recommend is use that strategy I mess, I just told you about to connect with people. If you're going to be listening, then find people you enjoyed go ahead and message them on another platform. So it's another way you can work it. Even if you were like, I'm not ready to do a room. I'm not ready to do a room. You know, I was like, I'm not ready to do a room. Me, because I wanted to make sure. And I thought, Roxanne, what are you doing? Get out of your own way. And now we're doing once a week. So there's that. All right. So that's how you're going to work Clubhouse to your benefit. But remember, your bandwidth matters. I do think that if you're someone who's interested in recruiting, I think it's a great space to be in. However, it's also a great space to be in if you want to sell product as well too. But just something to think about. And then if you just are a lifetime learner, Clubhouse is a great place to learn and hear different stories. All right. um, So we're going to slide right into behind the scenes.
Uh, but I do want you to, I want to say this. First of all, I want you to, if you are on Clubhouse, to join me on, on Fridays at 9.30 Pacific time. It's going to be so much fun. And I'm excited to just help and give you in part some exciting wisdom. And there'll be some exciting guests as well too throughout those weeks. So there's that. I also want to tell you behind the scenes, of course, in the throes still of doing the interviews for the summit and all but one of them will be done by tomorrow. Um, so I'm very excited Oh, the information is so good. If you're not registered, I mean, get registered for it. I mean, seriously, I was in awe. I'm always in awe when I finish these, but the what they have, I mean, just the insight and the information and how abundant they are with what they're saying. It's it's just so very good. Dana Malstoff, which I think I've told you I have, um, I have, a, like, I have a girl crush on... <laughs> On Dana Malstaff. I mean, she's just amazing. And what she's done with Boss Moms is fantastic. And y'all, she sat down with me. And you know I'm a talker. I didn't even, I just kind of let her go because it was just so very good. And I think she was on like so much information. I was just like, I do have to cut this off because I had someone coming out. Like, but I didn't want to. It was so, so good. If you are like, I ain't Facebook groups, I want to figure this thing out. Um, I want to grow it. She literally is one of the people who talks to Facebook. Facebook comes to her for advice, like for insight and on groups because her group is rocking and her engagement is ridiculous. And she is at the summit. I mean, that's just one person at the summit that is phenomenal. So you're going to love all the things. You really are. It, it's, it is fantastic. Um, so I really encourage you to get on the shtick and get your spot. And also friends don't let friends miss out on the summit. If you have not told your upline, your downline, your sideline sisters, people in other network marketing companies about it, shame on you. You need to share this with them because it is that good and it will grow their business and really get them ready and roaring to go for 2021. So please don't hesitate. Social media for NetworkMarketerSummit.com. So I'm in the throes of that. Also, yesterday I did my first show on BeLive's YouTube channel. So I'll be doing a monthly show there. And I have to say I was a little nervous because, you know, new platform, all the things. It was so much fun. I had a great time. Um, it was all about helping people figure out their superpowers and then giving them three ways they can leverage that on live stream, on their live videos. And it really went well. Thank you if you were there. I appreciate you. I'll give you guys the date for the next one that's coming up in February. But it was, it, I really, I, it's my happy space. You know that. So that was really enjoyable. Um, and I'm honored that they had asked, they asked me to be part of, of their their um, their show and their channel by doing that. So that was fantastic. And I think those are the main things, just, you know, blowing and going, enjoying life um, and enjoying getting an opportunity to really help you make that transformation and help you get to the goals that you're, go you're, you're headed towards. So that is me in a nutshell. That's what I've been up to. Um, summit, summit, summit. Did I mention the summit? Oh yeah, the summit. <laughs> I also want to say one more thing. Uh, well, two more things. One more thing though is just a mindset moment thing. I look back on my hesitation to do um, Clubhouse. I was like, oh, I don't know why. I mean, I, I'm a social media, like that's my jam. It's my jam. I love social media, but I was a little nervous about this new platform and, I'm, and I was getting in my own way. I'm saying that because I want you to think about what you could be doing, what you know is told in your wheelhouse that you're not doing and you're getting in your way, maybe because you're afraid. I think I was afraid. There was fear. And I don't know what, I was afraid of failing, afraid of what? Who cares? Get in there and do it. And so whatever it is, it Clubhouse, it might not be that for you, but whatever that thing is, that's like a no brainer where people think that is you and you know, that's you and you're not doing it. Dive in there, get out of your own way and get to swimming, get to swimming, Dory, keep swimming because <laughs> I know you will rock it. All right. So just remember that and get out of your own way. 2021 is not a year for us to sit in fear. It's a year for us to live our lives and rock it. Oh, that does remind me. So I think, you know, my word of the year last year was endless. Sorry about that. <laughs> this year is trust. And I got my, I, my intent, my intent. They have these, um, they have bracelets and necklaces where you can put your word, you can get your word put on it and they send it to you. And I got mine. So it says trust. So every time I look down and I'm like a little weird, I'm like, trust, Roxanne. trust, trust, trust. So I'm trusting all the things. So I love having that um, there. I'll put a link, if I remember, I'll put a link on the, the show um, notes page. So if you want to find out or see where I got that, you can grab one of those. All right. 
I might even have a discount. I'll check. If I do, I'll put it on there. All right. So you all, thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for this month. It might be the shortest month, but that doesn't mean it's not a great month. It's going to be a fantastic month. Believe and you will achieve. <sighs> thank you so much for being here. Um, you know, I appreciate you so much. And you are not ahead. You're not behind. You're exactly where you need to be. I'll see you next week for another episode of Rocks Talks. Take care.